Well, now, let's say you are a beginner. Well, we have said. Now, the question is, you've been watching my videos and you're like, okay, fine, Joseph, now I'm ready to take a step now. How do I invest as a beginner? I've never been into this game. I've never been to it. I'm literally a virgin when it comes to investment. Now, what exactly are you supposed to do? What are the steps are you supposed to follow? What are you supposed to consider? Oh, and by the way, which is the best investment as a beginner? so to speak. All right, now let's get into the business because on this video, I'm going to share with you exactly. And guess what? I dare promise you for the next 14 minutes, just 14 minutes of your time can actually transform your life exemplary. All what you need to do to say thank you is to just like the video. Make sure next to my subscriber, there is a small button written subscribe. Hit that magical button and leave me a comment section, a comment. Let's get in the business now. Here you are. You are a beginner. Okay, now this is John. Okay, let's call you John. Or let's call you Margaret or Jane or whichever you want. Now, here you are. This is Jane. You want to invest. But you don't know exactly what should I invest on. Okay. Now, the very first thing that you need to answer, and this most of the people don't even ask themselves, the first thing that you need to understand before you invest is why do I want to invest? Okay, fine. I know that sounds like obvious reasons. Yeah, I want to grow well. I want to be it. No, but that differs from one person to the other. For example, when I'm investing, let's say my target is 100 million. Someone else investing saying, hey, guess what? I'm looking forward to getting 500 Gs or something. So why do you want to invest? Are you dissatisfied with that what you earn? Well, are you looking forward into a retirement and you want to safeguard it? Or are you looking forward into creating multiple streams? Do you want to safeguard your money or your 12 or whatever they think so answer the question why do you want to why you want to do what to invest why to invest okay see when you answer this question let's say maybe you want to go ahead and do what create multiple stream of income or let's say you want to do what expand the basket of income you want to simply expand basket of income okay so once you answer that question i want to expand the basket of income okay fine what is your current income okay let's say your current income is thirty thousand a month okay now you have answered that see now see when it comes to investment we deal with the specificities your current basket of income is thirty thousand this is an active income Active income simply means that you trade your energy, your skills, and your time, and then you get paid. That's what you do each and every day if you're employed. Now, the question is, I want to expand this, okay? Now, to what extent do you want to make, maybe expand this by 10,000, expand this by 20, expand this by equivalent? Let's say your target is, maybe I want to add 10,000 on top of the 20, 30,000 that I have. Let me, let's say you want to add 10,000 on top of it. Okay, fine. Now, see, you have answered three questions. Why do you want to expand? Uh -huh. well, you have this amount of money you want to add. So, therefore, you are looking forward into earning, let's say, 40,000 at the end of the month. For example, you want to add some extra 10,000. Now, after knowing that you want to add 10,000 Kenyan shillings on top of the current amount of money that you earn from the active income, what do you do? You go ahead and ask yourself, what does it entail for me to create an income or create a system that earns me 10,000? And for this case regard, you ask yourself, which vessel or venue do you want to use? Do you want to use the business venue or do you want to use what you call the investment venue? And never forget, this one has high risk, high, and this one has low risks. And guess what? This one has high income and this one has low income so if it has low income then you leverage on time or you leverage on what on the amount what do i mean if you don't have a lot of amount that you can put in for example if you want to earn ten thousand a month from an in, from an investment you need an average of one million investment if you give you get an average of ten percent you get what i'm saying so you don't have this amount for example now guess what happens you leverage on what time you don't have the amount but you have the type so now the question is how much time do you have Okay, now the question is then if the amount of money, the, the amount of time that you need for you to invest is defined by how much can you surrender each and every month for your savings. Let's say out of the 30,000 that you earn per month, you can manage to save how much? 10,000 at the end of the month. Therefore, it means, remember what I told you, if you take 5,000 each and every month, put it in a money market fund, for example, giving you a return of 13% in a period of 10 years, you have yourself 1 million. You have answered the question. That's what you need. So you'll be getting that cash flow. But now, guess, 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 regard, you have 10 instead of 5. 
probably are thinking that it will take you five years. No, it will take you a little bit of time than that. But the question is, let's say you save the month one, month two, month three, and month four, and month five. Now, guess how much you have? You have 10, or rather you have 50,000. This is my simple advice that I will give you. When you do not have a lot of money, focus less on investment. Because investment basically works for people who have a quite substantive amount of money. What you should focus on is to grow, expand, you know, multiply that money, and then you look forward into the investment later. What you suffer from, it is not investment. Because investment is more of sort of capital preservation. What you suffer most from is not investment. It's not lack of investments. It is actually lack of a substantive amount of money that you're earning. Therefore, I always advise people, if you find yourself within this bracket, concentrate much on the areas where you can actually multiply your money at a quite a reasonable rate, especially into the business. Think about what exactly can you be able to do that where you are employed what do you do let's say you are employed somewhere in a supermarket where you do bakery you're in the bakery sister section where you bake some cakes you bake bread and all those kind of things so the question is you have the skills of making all those things but you may not have the machineries to do all those kind of things and you have yourself the 50,000 then you ask yourself well what if I buy from the wholesalers and now I retail them and I sell them because I know the pricing of the breads and the cakes and what have you. Or maybe the 50,000 can get me one or two machines that I can be able to help me make some cakes when I do not or when I'm not actually showing up to my work. Or then if I'm actually occupied to my work, then I can actually bring somebody who is an intern or somebody who is just getting started up on this industry of baking or bakery. Then I can employ that individual. And then from that particular point, I can actually use it as a, another source of income. You grow. You know, I always tell people, if you don't want to get a lot of stresses when you get yourself into a business, try to get into a business that you're already in. For example, let's say you're employed somewhere where you sell clothing in a quite of a big chain store and then you end up starting something to do with like um, a whole of a different section like you get yourself in like the you know the, the, the hospitality industry like the hotel or the restaurants whatever the thing it is you find like you're in two vast industries try to figure out on you being in that particular area and i know you have a question what if joseph i deal with things to do with psychology on whatever i'm employed somewhere as a human resource and whatever you can actually be able to get into the content creation and be able to sell your services online do not disregard the fact that online that's where the business is you can get yourself into that industry another thing let's say because honestly speaking if i tell you now you're focusing on adding ten thousand. i mean let's just let's just be sincere honestly I mean, you, you're going to take 10 years to actually take add 10,000 on top of your that. For God's sake, by the time the 10 years are clocking, probably your salary will be even close to 100. I don't know. I'm just... Oh, okay, fine. Let's just be a little bit logical. Maybe your salary will be a little bit at 60,000. Definitely, that effort that you did put for the next 10 years does not even make any sense. So the point should be, the moment you have less money, focus mostly on the businesses where you can grow your money. You're not suffering from investments. You're suffering from businesses. That thing that can actually multiply and grow your cash and prepare yourself to actually multiplying your cash. So get into a business. And how do you get into this business? Please, please. And I repeat, I can't even say closely, please. Do not over digress. Do not move into a whole of a different industry that you do not understand. Stay within the lane. D did you get that, my brothers and sisters? Stay within the lane. Ask yourself, okay, fine. I'm a doctor. Or I'm a pharmacist. Or I'm employed somewhere as a waitress. What exactly can I do? Think within the industry that you work because you understand it better. If you're a waitress somewhere, then you can be like, hmm, okay, I know you're about to ask me, okay, what if I'm an air hostess? Do I buy an aeroplane? No, come on. I'm not saying that. Just get, you can get into the hospitality. You can get into the service industry. You can actually start your own farm of teaching people how to be a hostess. But you'll be like, okay, fine, but how will I get the licensing? This doesn't have to be like, you, you can have it actually do things online. How then, do you, how then do you even, how then be if you can actually get into the content creation? Show people how this is a life of our health says This is exactly what we do. Show us from the beginning to the end. We will enjoy watching your videos on YouTube. We're going to give you billions of views. And guess what happens now if you become a YouTube partner? They're going to pay you doing exactly that. Sometimes you don't have to think too hard to make an extra coin out of from what you're doing. That is exactly what you do as a beginner, all right? Don't forget, we're talking about how do you invest as a beginner step by step.
That is exactly how you do it. Don't overthink. Don't think overboard. Don't think a lot. Sometimes some of the great ideas or the great investments or great returns do not require like great ideas. Just you need to be a little bit overthinking and be like, okay, fine. See, how exactly? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do it. For example, taking this pen and this board and this camera and obviously this light that is shining on me and making these videos, it's another source. Did you get what I'm saying? That is exactly what you're supposed to do. And, and, and then this is what I always tell people. Do not think like an investment. For example, let's say you don't want to get into the businesses. You can as well pick the investment method. And you keep on putting your money in a little by little, propagating that and making sure that you take your money to maternity. Remember that analogy that I gave you? Make sure that you impregnate your money. And impregnation of a money simply means that take your money to a maternity. Maternity simply means it's a structure or a system that helps your money to grow and multiply. And that way, on the other end, you're going to receive some baby money. And that is now what you eat. That is what you do. So the first question you should ask yourself, if you can just recap what exactly I said. Number one, consider why do you want to invest? Once you answer the question, then I want to expand my income. Then how much is your income as of now? It is 30,000. This is a just an example. And then how much do you want to add on top of that 30,000? I want to add 10,000. Fine, amazing. Now, you ask yourself, then what will it require me to actually an extra 10,000 as an ex um, sort of an extra income? Then it will require me an X amount of money. Then, if you ask yourself, if you want to use the vehicle of the business, that may take a little bit a short period of time. For example, if you buy some sneakers, like in Kenya, the bale of sneakers, the second has sneakers will cost even a new one. I bet it will be less than 20 Gs or 20,000. That's like $200. You can be able to get a bale of sneakers, like a couple of you know sneakers. And maybe you can trade them in a retail. Some people even sell them to where you usually work. You show up with those sneakers and sell to people. There are people who do, there are people even who bake some cakes and you know they package them very nicely and they have orders from their acquaintances or they have orders from people whom they work with. So that is exactly what you do. You take them and maybe you can make some few coins here and there. You know, it can make you maybe some uh, amount of money that is enough to fuel your car or maybe if not a car then for transport purposes, for public transport purposes and all those kind of things. So when you, you actually include that kind of a thinking, that is exactly you take yourself from the one level to the next. And I'm going to finish with this. Let's say you want to make a million bob as your extra income. But uh, right now you're speaking the language of 10,000, 100,000 and something of sort. Sounds like a milestone. You don't have to sort of uh, you know, have a huge chunk of money for you to see as if you're making a substantive move. All what you need to do is to rely with that little amount of money that you're making, then progressively you rely on that. For example, when you're driving, let's say you want to drive like 200 miles or 200 kilometers from where you are. When you, and maybe say you're driving at nine, when you turn on the light or headlights of that car, it does not illuminate the entire stretch of 200 miles. See, when you turn on your car, it does not illuminate that. No, it just illuminates like 20 meters from where you are and you rely with that 20 meters continuously until you reach your destination. That is exactly what happens with investments. You invest your 5k, your 5k, your 10, your 15, your 7, your 8, your 9, whatever the thing is, rely on that until you actually reach to your destination of investment. I wish I can say it in an easier way than that. That is how I can deliver it to you. But for now, it's a goodbye. Don't forget, you can as well go ahead and grab that number of mine from the description of this specific video. Let's have a conversation about investment. If you may, for now it's a goodbye and forget not to like the video and comments on the comment section. For now it's a goodbye. See ya.